Okay guys, so I have not been around, but as you can see, we're gonna make rose water. You take the roses, you get you a dehydrator, or you leave them out separated for a little uh, while for a couple of days, and then they'll dry out. I put mine in a canister to keep them together, but you don't really have to if you're ready. Get you a teapot, mine has a strainer. You put the tea, or you put the leaves inside of there like that, and then just pour your water, put it on the stove, and you boil it if you don't have a teapot. Look, no problem. You should have a pot in the house. Take your roses, uh, petals, put them in a pot like this. They're so cute, guys. Look at them. So vibrant still from the dehydrator. You're gonna pour water, um, distilled water or spring water like this. Ozarker, that's what I use. And you're gonna pour it in there just like that. After that's done, you're gonna turn on the stove. This is very simple, but sometimes I forget to do that. And that's what it's gonna look like. You could either drink it, uh, spray it on your hair, uh, make pretty ice cubes. I know online they have these square ones like this or the circle ice cubes. Uh, I actually had leftover petals, so I put that on top too so that it, it would freeze and it would look so pretty. Um, and you just put this in the freezer until it's frozen. Uh, perfect. You can either drink it for tea, put it on your hair, spray it on your hair, um, or make it into some pretty ice cubes. Well, this is Southern Singing Kitchen. Live love. And remember, I love you guys, and I'll be putting up more videos.